Yeah. Gemma. Yeah. Uh, you get to the pub. You don't want to keep Johnny waiting. And I'll see him out and I'll see you later, OK? All right. All right. Ta -ra. Oh, she gone? Yeah. Had to get to work. Johnny's cracking the whip. Well, I was about to say, I'm all done. Flipping Joseph. I've told him that is most definitely not how you train a dragon, but will he listen? <laughs> yeah. Right, well, I won't keep you. How do you know it was a, um, a kid's toy dragon? What? Well, you didn't mention and I didn't say. Wait, it's, uh, it's just a guess. Joseph can be a right little tyke. Yeah, right. It's still a bit weird that you didn't mention before I started. Is it? Yeah, it is. Did you stuff Toothless down the Kazi? Yeah. Yeah, I did, yeah. Right. Why would you do that? It's uh, best you don't know. See, the thing is, I kind of do want to know now. Like, I've always been quite a curious person. I've been harvesting Gemma's wee so I can sell positive pregnancy tests on the dark web. So let me get this straight. When you, when you say harvesting... I nobbled the toilet so she had to go in a bucket, then I dip. Actually, she's not been going that much lately. Well, she's been going, just not producing. OK, OK, I shouldn't have asked. I've already had some interest. Here. Right, look at this. Bants, she wants one. Trick your loved ones into thinking you're up the duff. Well, you spelt your wrong, it's apostrophe Ari. Oh. Yeah. Well, I don't even know why you need to sell them on the dark web. You know, if you put them for novelty use only, you can sell them on a legit website. Really? You know, I don't even know why I'm still thinking about this. It's it's weird. It, it's illegal, yeah, and it's flipping rank. Well, you're not going to tell her, are you? No, I think it's best we never mention this or think about this ever again. Hey, Gem. What do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, suits you. Yeah, come in handy at one of them all-you-can-eat buffets. You wouldn't have to undo <laughs> the buttons to fit more food in. <laughs> are you cheers? Well, what? What are you on about? No, you've got it wrong. She wouldn't do that. The toilet wasn't really broken. I'm gonna flaming kill her. Is that Chesney checking up on you? He's a bit too controlling, if you ask me. You need to watch that. Maybe. He's worried about people. No, stealing my wee and selling fake pregnancy tests with it. OK. Right, I can, I can see you're angry, love. Don't love me! I was just trying to raise a bit of extra cash to pay the parking fine and I was going to give some to you in the quads. Chesney said I had to start contributing. Yeah, by getting a job! It's a sort of job. <sighs> Did you even mean any of that, what you said before about us girls sticking together? Or was that just a pack of lies? Stop being so dramatic. Our pa was right about you. All you care about is yourself. How can you be so stupid? You watch who you're calling stupid there, love. You're not too old for a clip round the ear. Oh, jog on, old lady. You are an embarrassment. Yeah? Yeah! Right. Well, I won't hang around and cramp your style anymore. I'll see you around. <laughs> Welcome to the King's Robes Arena. Yeah. What's it bigger? It's not the size that counts. Says you. We're so glad you came. We love stories like this. Community. Yeah. We're so excited to be here. Should we take some photos of the happy couple? Oh, yeah, great. Whoa, hang on a minute. Where's my free tickets? I'm sorry about Gemma. She's not very good with people. <laughs> it's fine. The ticket's in the office. We just thought we'd get some photos first, if that's all right. No, mate. <laughs> I wasn't born yesterday. No tickets, no photos. Hey, Gemma, they're not trying to trick us. I've been ripped off too many times, Chase. Once, right, I bought these tickets for this pool party at Alty Baths, right? Dizzy Rascal, Scary Spice, Bill Collins, were they there? Were they there? All right, maybe tell us about it later, yeah? <sighs> Sorry. Tomo's waiting on the pitch. Should we go in? Yeah, should I just go through the turns now? Yeah, sure. Oh, you can come through the gate if you prefer. Why? Well, it's just because you're... What? I'm too fat to get through the turnstile. I'll get stuck just because I'm pregnant with quads. No, not at all. Sexist. 
Here you are. Take a picture. Yeah, nice one. Are you stuck? Yeah. Hello there, nice sweetheart. There's always drama with this one. Are they filming me? Are they filming me? Oh, come on now, lads, cut that out. What process, how much longer are you going to be? We're not far off. How much longer? How much longer? They still wait for you on the pitch, but you've got something else on it for. Let me speak to him, yeah? It's important that you stay nice and calm. But you can shut up and all there's five of us in here and we have all had enough. <laughs> Careful! We're being as gentle as we can. Oh, voila! Oh. Thank you. Are you all OK? I'm just checking the growth with some measurements. I've changed my mind. It's a bit late for that. I want to know the sex is. No, we agreed. It'll be a surprise. Having quads was a surprise. Can you just tell us if there's at least one boy and one girl? Blimey. Just think if it's all boys. John, Paul, George and Ringo. <laughs> or four girls. Sporty, scary, posh and baby. Hang on, in the five Spice Girls? Ginger. Actually, the measurements are not quite the same for all four babies. What does that mean? It's not that unusual, but I'd like to send this through to the consultant. You mean there's something wrong? Please, don't worry. I'll arrange for you to have a chat with the consultant. I told you. Anytime someone asks for an interview, you just refer them to me. I separate the quality from the rubbish and I organise it, if it's worth doing. All right. Yeah, I'm fine. Go on. I get you better money, any misrepresentation, and I sue. Sounds great. You're not doing this for now, though, are you? Well, I take a 15% commission on anything that I handle. 15%? It's a standard industry rate. Oh, hang on. Right, you're not the only one who can set up interviews. This is Sue Kate from Aya magazine. Oh, I knew you were up to summer. She wants to interview you. <sighs> Suki Waters. Um, Waters, yeah. Reprimanded by press standards last month for journalistic conduct bordering on harassment. Really? See, leave it to the pros, ma'am. I'm looking at more upmarket publications than Aya magazine. And television, of course. Television? I'm in talks with loose women about you. Stacey Solomon! Well, they kill for a story like this. If we play our cards right, we could get a TV deal to film the births. They could come back every few years to see how the children are growing up. Their entire lives would be immortalised. That'd be awesome! So, do we have a deal? <laughs> well, if it's the 15% you're worried about... No, it's, it's, not, it's not that. Well, what then? I think I'm going in labour. I can't believe that pub shut down. Yeah, I read in the paper that a pub closes down every day. What, even on New Year's Eve? That's like the busiest day of the year. I think they mean, like, on average. So in a couple of years, there could be none left. Forget about the Arctic melting chairs. That is the real scandal. Hey, why don't we uh, stand over here, you know, taking the view? Yeah. Breathing that fresh air. Yeah. This was such a good idea, Chairs. I feel more relaxed already, you know. Oh, good. Gemma. <gasps> Ow! Oh, good thing you ducked, eh? That was my hot dog, you little pillock. It was an accident. <sighs> yeah, all right. Ta, anyway, we probably did you a favour. You could do with losing some weight. <laughs> <laughs> you cheeky little... Hey, hey. <sighs> you OK? Yeah. Why don't you sit down? Are you kidding me? Come on, I'm eating for five. This is ace in it, Chess. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, oh, don't tell me you feel sick. I'm the same on boats. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The experience of a lifetime and you're turning green. 
It's a cable car in Landudno. It's not a trip on the Orient Express. Bye, me. You really know how to suck the fun out of everything you do. Oh, do I now? What are you doing? Just shut up and let me do this before I throw up. Gemma, I love you. And when them little babas come along, we're going to make our family complete. I would get down on one knee, <laughs> but there's not really the space, so you just have to pretend that I am. Gemma Winter, or Nuclear Winter, as they used to call you at school. I should <laughs> never have told you that. I've never met someone like you. You're special, and you're funny, and crazy, and mad. And there's nobody on this earth that I'd rather spend the rest of my life with. So, would you do me the honour of becoming my wife? What have you done, you great spoon? Why would you stop us in midair? He said pull in an emergency. Someone's going to emerge any minute. Well, I didn't know it was going to stop. I'm sorry. OK. No. No, it's not all right. I can't have the babies up here. They might not be able to breathe. Tess, they could die. Hey, that's not going to happen, oh. OK? It could be more of them Brixton hacks. Brixton hicks. Oh. And it can't be them because my waters have broken. <laughs> right. All right, all right. Um, I'll try and find the operator's number. Oh, stuff the operator. We need an ambulance. Well, that's no good up here, not unless they send us an air ambulance. An helicopter? No. Oh, I'm not dangling off the end of a rope like some flaming starfish. Ah, ah. Oh, call 999. It's okay. You're going to have to calm down. We need Gemma as relaxed as possible. All right, I'm sorry. The ambulance is on its way. The cable car people are doing all they can to get you moving. What's taking him so long? Some sort of technical issue, but we need to focus on Gemma. Could you ask her to get on all fours, please? Can you get down on all fours? Do I look like I want to play leapfrog? No room! All right. Get her as close to the floor as you can. It'll be safer if baby counts. Yeah, we need to get, to get as close to the floor as we can, OK? No, this is all wrong, Jess. We're going to lose them, I know it. No, you're not. We can do this. All six of us. Yeah? No! Oh. 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 Right. oh, circus in town. Let I fisherman's pants. All right. Is he still in there? I mean, you wouldn't know. Look, I didn't come looking for you to talk about my pants. And I don't have time for this. Uh, me neither. Beth's cream horn is spoiling as we speak. I need you to pop round the house tonight. Oh, after the warm welcome we got last time. Look, if I want to lecture, I'll leave the seat up at home then. Nick, this is serious. Be there. Right. Does she feel like she wants to push? Do you want to push, love? Yeah, you over the flaming side. <laughs> OK, we need to get her on the edge of her seat. Yeah, that'll make two of us. Have you got a cushion handy? Baby might need a soft landing. I, mean, I could use my, my jacket, I suppose. That'll do fine. Oh, come on, you're doing great. You're doing great. Right. If Gemma leans back, you should be able to see if baby's coming. No, it can't be. We're still stuck. Please, just get her to do as I ask. We need you to lean back, sweetheart. We're, we're moving. We're moving. Oh, great one. What can you see? Uh, land uh, The cafe. Where we have something to eat. Is there any sign of baby? Uh, oh, no. His head's poking out. No, 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 it can't be. He won't be able to breathe. He won't survive. It's OK. Uh, I can see the ambulance at the cable station. Tell her to bear down and push as she feels the contractions. Bear down and push as you feel contractions. No, no, it's going to die. No, no. It's coming. No! No! 
Short rest to build up your strength. Yeah. Yeah. Short rest to build up your strength, Jammer. I know. I, 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 I can't do this. You can. You're almost there. One sec. Oh, you're almost there, Jammer. Keep going. Yes. Mum and baby to the ambulance? Yeah, yeah, go for it. <laughs> you did it, Jim. You were amazing. I don't feel amazing. Will you tell Mum and Rita what's happening, yeah? Is Gemma OK? A bit tired, otherwise she's fine. Would you like to say hello to the rest of the family? Oh, get in! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll let you up in the circumstances. <sighs> oh, Frizz, I forgot to ask. Is Mum all right? Oh, don't worry. I'll find out more when I get down there. I'm just sorry I can't be here to help you with the little ones. It's all right. Is my mum not with you? Oh, she just nipped out for a coffee, you know, ages ago. She'll be wetting the baby's heads in the nearest boozer. All four of them, twice over. Well, that's why you're wrong. All right. So where have you been? Never you mind. So, what are you thinking of names-wise? Well, we did toy with North, South, East and Darren. Oh, that's original. Mm. But since the babies are technically Welsh, we've had a rethink. Uh, there are going to be vowels, I hope. Or birthday cards and Christmas cards are going to be a nightmare otherwise. Yeah, and I don't want to be gobbing over people when I introduce them. Hey, that's racist. Bit of respect for the Welsh, please. Definitely after today. They were amazing, weren't they? Bryn, the surgeon, Cleo, the midwife, and Caris and Ali, the paramedics. So that's what we're calling him? Bryn, Cleo, Caris, and because he was walking in the air when he was born, Aled. I just wish that they were here so that I could show them to you, hold them. There'll be plenty of time for that, though. You need some rest. 